Hey, this is John. It's uh, my brother-in-law, Jerry, over there. Hey, che si dice? Fettuso che cazzo fai a sfaccina, sfaccina bastardo. Jesus. You start, you start this with insults over here? No, Vai nice. giocando qua e calenterna. Si, mi cosa ci fai tu? He got that right, too. I got that one right over there. Vinzega. Vinzega. We're taking a ride over here to do things. Don't ask what we're doing. No, no, do you no. get yourself in trouble no, with no, doing no. things? No questions. No questions. No fucking questions. Jerry's telling me what when he first came to this. Pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. See this? This is an American story right here. 17 and a half years old. His brother was 16. His father brought them to the United States. What, what, what was the date? July what? I think it was July 15, 1982. His father came over with his with the two boys. They wanted to go to Milano, where all the action was. That's where the action was back then. His father said, no, 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 no. We're going to we're going to America. So he got here on July 15th. July 16th, his father woke him up and said. He woke me up at 6 in the morning. He says, get up and go find a job. <laughs> in a fucking city that I don't, didn't know the language. I didn't know anybody. You believe that? And, what a father. And? And I, you know, that's what I had to do. I just got... Didn't speak a word of English, <laughs> right? I, yeah. Maybe the curses. I said, uh, yeah. No, no. Not even the curses. Not even the curses. I didn't know nothing back then. But you found a job the first day, right? I, yeah. When I started walking on the Utrecht Avenue in 80, from 86th Street to all the way up to the 40s or 50. And uh, that same day, uh, you know, I went from store to store. And I was asking, uh, I started asking everybody who was speaking Italian, first of all, because I couldn't, you know, understand anything else. And I ended up finding this guy that he had a, a carpet, you know, he was like, uh, he was building furniture and uh, kind of doors and uh, quite a few things over there. It was a very finished carpenter, let's put it this way. And uh, he was from, uh, Naples, this guy, and uh, he told me, all right, come back tomorrow and uh, show me what you know how to do. And I did. And he did. That was his first <laughs> job here in the States? First job. Only less than a week, but that was the first job. First job. Of, one yeah. day, one day, had a job. Didn't speak English. Had a job. Then got a, started working in the pizzeria? Yeah, that, after a week, my father sent me up with uh, one of his friends that he, the son of this guy that he knew, he was the manager of a Ferrara pastry shop on Grand Street in uh, Little Italy. Yeah, that was a pretty good job. I think I lasted about six months on that job. Then you met, when did you meet my sister? That was about a year later, where, you know. A year later working at which pizzeria? Yeah, I, I, I told one of uh, my father's friends the, what, I, what I was doing and uh, how much I was making. And he just grabbed me, grabbed me from uh, from my from the year. I was like, no way, you're not doing this fucking job over here. He says you come with me tomorrow. And that's, how, that's that's how I end up at Frank's Pizzeria, <laughs> Fabush and Quentin, uh, where he met my beautiful sister. And now they have. Uh, the wet, and then you got married. You had a couple of kids. Not that day. Not, not that. that day. <laughs> no, it wasn't that day, Strunzo. <laughs> Uh, and so he wound up meeting my sister. They had three loser kids. She's the one who told me how to make pizza. She's telling everybody. My sister? She told everybody that, she, you know, that, yeah, I'm the one who told Jerry how to make pizza. That's not true. With so ketchup make, and milk. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when, when milk is a spice, you know you're going uh, you're going from Irish to Italian. <laughs> so when did you get your uh, your um, citizenship? Oh, I, I, want, I came in uh, with a green card. From day one, but uh, I end up going getting uh, citizenship because uh, uh, I went with the family to Canada, and I got stopped on the way back to New York, 
and uh, they detained uh, me and uh, the kids and your sister for, I don't know, hours because I didn't have the green card with me. Oh, okay. So I got so pissed. That and, they, and two pounds of heroin. <laughs> no, I got so pissed the next day that I was like, screw this, I gotta go, you know. I gotta become an American citizen. He's I become did. an American citizen. He's now not just a, he's not just my brother-in-law. He's my brother. He won't co-sign alone. No, but he's my you. he's fuck my him. brother. Co-sign shit. And he's he's now a U.S. citizen. Proud to be here in the United States. Here's an American su- success story, everybody. There it is, right there. Que cazzo fire, Gerardo Scali. Fetuso. Vedos a mango go full of porco vaca. What's that saying about raising kids or pigs? Crisci porcelli, non crisci di figlioli. That's what my father used to say all the time. Which means raise pigs, don't raise kids. Like they say, at the end of the year, at least you can kill them and eat them. You can't eat kids. Hey, it's a... You can't eat... Well, you could, but you know, you, if you were Jeffrey Dahmer, you could eat the kids. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Real success story. Me and my brother-in-law, Christmas week, heading up, doing some family stuff. Re- remember this. This is what America looks like right here. 